Welcome to Windows CMD tutorial number 2, The Basics. In this video we'll be going over the very basics of the command line, moving around and how to use commands. Every video will have all slideshows and code available in the description. A critical concept we need to understand is how to find files or folders. Now if you've never used the command line before, then you're probably used to searching for your files or a folder using the Windows Graphical Explorer. That looks something like this. You can find the location in the top bar, and you can see all of your files and folders inside the window. And you can also double click on a folder to move into that folder. As you can probably guess, there is no nice graphics in the command line. Currently, we are in the Draps folder, which is inside the Users folder, on the C hard drive. The important thing to remember is the locations. They always follow the same structure. You may find it easier to read the location backwards with each folder separated by a backslash. For example, here we have a subfolder, which is inside a folder. The a folder belongs to the C colon hard drive. This is where our files are saved, inside these folders. The letter, then colon, indicates a hard drive letter. By default, C colon is your first hard drive. New hard drives, CD or DVD drives, and externals will go down the alphabet. D, E, F, etc. So why is this important? It's important to understand your computer's file structure. When we use the command line, we regularly need to move around our file system to create files, move files, edit files, run programs, etc. Because the command line is all text, our file structure would be a text representation of our usual file explorer. Alright, let's learn our first command, the dir command. This command lists all of the files and folders in the current directory. Directory is another word for folder. So let's open up a command prompt and type in our command. So we'll come over to start, type in cmd, hit enter, and I'll open up our command line. Now let's try typing in dir, so it can be in lowercase or uppercase, doesn't matter, and we press enter. And as you can see, we get a list out of all of the things in this current folder. So, currently, we have these, the time that the directories were made, or last modified, and the time, the exact time, then it has next to it, dir in brackets, if it's actually a directory. And if it's a file, it doesn't have a dir next to it. So we can see it's mostly directories in here. So we have like documents, downloads, Dropbox, favorites, etc. Cool. So that's how we can list what's inside this current folder. And as you can see, we're currently inside the Draps folder, which is inside the Users folder on the C hard drive. Okay. Now that we know how to see what's inside the folder we're in, we need to learn how to move in and out of folders. To move around, we use the CD command. However, we have to tell the cd command where we want to go. To tell the command where we want to go, we type cd, space, and then the place we want to go. We can specify a folder in our current location, for example, cd, space, documents, or we can tell the command to take us to a specific location, for example, cd, c colon, backslash, users, backslash. We can also tell the command to take us back a folder with a double dot. For example, cd dot dot. Alright, let's give moving around a shot. So we'll come back to our command line. And we want to say, let's, let's say we want to move into our documents folder. So we type cd space documents. And we press enter. And as you can see, it's now changed us from the draps users c folder to the documents which is inside the Draps folder, which is inside the Users folder in the C hard drive. And now if we type dir, we can see what's in this folder. So there's a lot more in this folder. We can see we've got quite a lot of directories, and we've got some files, some documents, and you can see that there's a lot more in this folder. Now, maybe we want to go back a folder, so we type cd space dot dot. And when we press enter, it'll take us back. So now we're back in our Draps folder. So dir and we get the same folder as we were in before. Let's say we want to go back again, so cd dot dot. Now we're in the users folder, and you can see it's represented on the left. Now if we do here, we can see we get a printout of we're currently in the C, and it has the draps and the public folders in here. 
and we can go back again if we wish. Now we're in the C hard drive and we can type dir and you can see all of the base folders in the C hard drive. All right, cool. So let's try changing directory and we want to change back to the C colon backslash users backslash draps folder back where we started. We press enter and it'll take us back there. Cool. So that's how we change directories. So far, we've learnt our first two commands. Currently, there is about a hundred commands still in use in the Windows command prompt. Though you don't have to be worried, you'll probably only ever use around 20 to 40 of these commands. Most of the time, you'll be using the same five or six commands. I find the best strategy for learning them is to just use them. So now that we have used command, let's analyze how commands are structured. Every command is structured in a similar way. This follows the pattern command space slash options space any arguments. The command is like cd or dir. Then we can take in options, which we haven't touched on yet. And finally, the arguments. The arguments are information we need to give to the command. So we have an example option here for the cd command. This question mark option, which means help. More on that in the next slide. And for example of arguments, we have the cd command, which requires an argument to tell it where to move to. Currently, we only know two very simple commands that don't have many easy to understand options. All right, now for one of the most important skills, getting help. Getting help for a command in CMD is very easy. We simply use the help option after any command we need help with. The option is forward slash question mark. If we wanted to get help for the dir command, we would type dir space forward slash question mark. Let's try getting the help for the dir command. We'll also learn a new command, the cls command, which will clear the command line of all previous commands. Okay, so we'll come over to the command line and we'll type in cls. And this is gonna clear the screen. And as you can see, it's cleared the screen. Okay, now let's get the help for the dir command. So we're gonna type dir space forward slash question mark. We hit enter, it'll come up with all of the help for the dir command. So we've got how to use it. So dir, then the drive or path or file name, and then any attributes and the options. And we can get a detailed list of all of the options right here. And we can press enter to continue all the way down to the bottom. Okay, so here we've got all of our different uh, options, but they're all pretty complex. Okay, so say we maybe want the help for the cd command, cd space forward slash question mark, press enter, and we get the help. Cool, so we'll type cls to clear the screen, and we'll come back to the slideshow. The next thing we'll be looking at is performing some general tasks on the command line, as well as some new tricks. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments and I'll try to answer it as best as possible. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.